PTS Sakura dislike. What's up, Legends? I got a quick little discussion for you guys. It's gonna be legendary, baby. But I wanted to talk about what I like and dislike about the character Sakura Haruno. Alright, so like I was saying, PTS Sakura, I did not like her. She was such a bitch in the beginning, the way she treated Naruto. I hated the fact that she made fun of him behind his back to Sasuke for Naruto being lonely and not having parents. That was just such a shitty thing for her to do, and that's what made me really dislike PTS Sakura in the beginning, and I'm glad Sasuke was like, you little bitch, how dare you. He didn't obviously call her a bitch, but he basically said, you don't know what loneliness is, so you can't, you don't have the right to talk about someone else's. And so, like, it would've been a crazy shit. It would've been some crazy shit if Sasuke would've said that. That's, considering they're married now, like, Sakura been like, oh, my husband. He called me a bitch once, now we're married, we're fucking all as well. And, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Sakura, I really didn't like Sakura in the beginning, so she just mistreated the fuck out of Naruto. She was all about Sasuke, and I understand attraction, but she was just, that was her only goal with Sasuke, and I needed her to have some damn goals, other than Sasuke's dick. She was like, Sasuke! Sasuke kun, can you fuck me, please? Please, Sasuke kun, fuck me, pop my cherry blossom. And I wasn't about that shit, man. I'm like, uh, whatever. I understand you, you. You want the dick. But come on. And I didn't like how her and Eno, they broke their friendship up over Sasuke. That was just, that's just stupid. Like, they were good people to each other. They were good to each other until Sasuke's dick was in the equation in the middle. And Sasuke wasn't even trying to hand out no dick. Like, he wasn't even giving, he wasn't even giving out the Uchi. <laughs> yet. He wasn't even giving it out. But I'm like, whatever. PTS Sakura didn't like her. No goals. Around the time when she begged Naruto to bring Sasuke back is when I was like, you know what? Okay, Sakura, she's cool. She's all right. She's not bad anymore. I didn't like the fact that when Gara was defeated by Naruto, she thought it was Sasuke and refused to believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's been such a long time since I watched Naruto, the original series, the original Naruto. Uh, she refused to believe that Naruto beat Gara. And just refused to believe that Sasuke lost to him, but Naruto could beat him. She just didn't respect Naruto whatsoever, and I hated that about her. Honestly, back then I wanted her, I wanted Naruto to end up giving him the, her the dick. Even though I liked Hinata back then as well, and I wanted Hinata to end up with Naruto because of how much she cared for him, even though everyone else didn't. I was like, yo, Sakura needs to get the dick one time just to know what it's like to be. <laughs> Like to Uzumaki to to get that Uzumaki barrage, man. She just needed it one time, but I'm I've passed that mindset because I was like 10 or 12 when I was like thinking that shit. Yeah, 10 to 12 year olds are badass little kids. I know they're some bad motherfuckers. And um, yeah, but around Shippuden, she was actually blushing at Naruto at the in their first meeting because she saw how he, he got older, and then she ended up punching him, which was a comedic thing. If you don't think it's funny, it's fine. If you do think it's funny, fine. It doesn't matter. That's not to be taken seriously never been to be taken seriously it's not an abuse case it's just comedy it's comedy com comedic abuse i guess so it is abuse but it's comedic abuse you know what like if naruto was hitting sakura every time then people would have probably something else to say like oh that's woman beating and yeah it would be it would be like something that just doesn't look right it would it wouldn't look right in any format and i don't condone hitting a woman but that's not what the case is it's, he, it's sakura hitting naruto and if you don't find it funny, whatever. But, so around Shippuden is where I started to be like, you know what, Sakura, you're not as bad anymore. Sasuke's not around, so you can't fiend for the Uchi anymore. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe Naruto never actually said he loved, he was in love with Sakura. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe he never said it canonically at least. He said, might have said it in a filler, but he never said it canonically. Or canon wise. I don't believe that Naruto ever said that. He might have said it, who knows. 
Because Sakura said he did in the last, but I don't know. Maybe not. Because Naruto used Shadow Clone Jutsu as a child in the last, even though he's not supposed to know Shadow Clone Jutsu. Kishimoto was high that day uh, during the review of the script. I know he didn't write the last, but he condoned he condoned and confirmed the last as a bit of ca as canon. So Kishimoto was a bit high that day <laughs> that he didn't revise that <laughs> just a little bit. But around the end of Shippuden is where Sakura started to get more or less okay. Like I didn't like the fact that she was still even after all the shit Sasuke's done to her. She still couldn't couldn't bring herself to not love the man. I mean, I understand love, how that works. She couldn't bring herself to be mean to the dude. Like, she cried for him at the end. She cried for him when he was going to fight Naruto. She shouldn't have cried. I feel like Sakura should have been dominating at that point. She should have said something like, Sasuke, you fucking bitch. She should have said some shit like that. And I also didn't like her fake love confession to Naruto because she had just found out that Hinata was in love with Naruto. Hinata's her friend. And she just found out Hinata was in love with Naruto. Yet she goes back she goes back and then says, Naruto, I love you. What would happen if it was a it was a romance manga, they would have got married, and Naruto would have found out she was never in love with him to begin with. Then that would have just been shitty. But it's not a romance manga, luckily, Naruto saw through it. And he went to go fuck Sasuke up. She tried to, but she couldn't. She couldn't she couldn't shank the boy. She couldn't shank the boy. Couldn't carve her name in his back. She couldn't do it. She couldn't do it. She couldn't put cherry blossom. Dot dot XOXO. I don't know. Bars. Rhyming accidentally. I know. I'm nasty with it. Too many, too many bars. I know. But uh, like I said, around the end of Shippuden, where she got more or less okay, she's like, You better be sorry, Sasuke. That was a little bit of domination on her part. I, and then Sasuke poked her forehead. She got moist with perspiration and pussy juice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Vulgar as shit. Yes. But around the last is where I started to like her. Actually like her. Because in the last, I, I really liked her role in the last. was like the, the Cupid to Naruto and Hinata. I liked how she tried to help Hinata gain confidence to talk to Naruto. To tell her her feelings. And I like how she, she pushed Naruto to go, go after Hinata more. She pushed him subtly. She didn't like say, oh, she wants your dick. Go get him. Go get her. She was like, she was more or less like, you know, Naruto, you're, you're like a little brother to me. I want you to be happy. Look at Hinata. Look back at me. Look at Hinata. Look back at me. Look at my titties. Look at Hinata. Believe it. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. But honestly, she was like, she was more or less like, you know, I was never in love with you like that. But Hinata is a girl who's loved you from the very beginning. You finally need to understand. She didn't specifically tell Naruto this, but she was pushing Naruto towards realizing that. She was trying to push Naruto to realizing that. Naruto ended up realizing it on his own from the Genjutsu that Hinata actually loved him for such a long time, and he started to feel for her. You know how you know how the last went. You know how the last went. So I liked Sakura the last because of how she she managed to help Naruto and Hinata come together. And and for Road to Bor Boruto Hinata, Sakura. For Boruto Sakura, I there's not much to talk about with her. She's married to Sasuke now. That's about it. Like she hasn't really done a lot during this era. She was pretty cool in the um. She's okay in the Gaiden manga, but she kind of she could have ended the Gaiden manga real quick, real quick <laughs> if she would have just told Sarada, you know. You know I'm your mom, right? I fucked Sasuke and held you in my stomach. And now you're here. And it's weird that Sasuke doesn't kiss her like Rand. <laughs> like, I mean, I guess not. Sasuke is a cock tease. Or a cherry blossom tease. <laughs> but anyway, this has been DZ Legend with another legendary commentary. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you're nasty. Peace, legends! That ended quicker than I thought it would. Too bad. My songs are coming, it's making waves Got me fumbling in the lead, hurricane My wind can't be tamed, but my chakras in the game Fill my will of fire, slain the storm is not a game Cause nothing is the same, except the legend's claim to fame When he continues to claim victories With that one to punch, tail beats energy I got energy, deep, way down inside me Powerful chakras killing me I'm mastering like killer bee. dreams of Hokage I've got